motion and measurement of distances. In this video, let us talk about different modes of transport, ancient measurements, standard units of measurements and different types of motion. Let us start with story of transport. Long ago, people used to move only on foot and carry goods on their back. Later on, they began to use animals for transportation. For transport through water, boats made with wood were used from ancient times. Invention of Wheel Invention of the wheel made a great change in modes of transport. Animals were used to pull carts that moved on vehicles. The invention of steam engine led to the development of new means of transport. Railroads were made from steam engine driven carriages and wagons. Later came automobiles such as motor cars, trucks and buses. Motorized boats and ships were used as means of transport on water. The early years of 1900 saw the development of aeroplanes, electric trains, monorail, supersonic aeroplanes and spacecrafts are some contributions of 20th century. Ancient Measurements The word measurement is derived from the Greek word metron, which means a limited proportion. In ancient times, the length of a foot, the width of a hand, and the distance of a step were commonly used as different units of measurements. Hand span is a measure of distance from the tip of the thumb to the tip of the little finger with the hand fully extended. People also used foot as a unit of length in different parts of the world. A cubit as a length from the elbow to the fingertips were used in ancient Egypt and was also accepted as unit of length in other parts of the world. People measured a yard of cloth by the distance between the end of the unstretched arm and their chin. However, everybody's body parts could be of slightly different sizes and have caused confusion in measurement. Standard Units of Measurements In 1790, the French created a standard unit of measurement called the metric system. For the sake of uniformity, scientists all over the world have accepted a set of standard units of measurement. The system of units now used is known as International System of Units or SI units. Units of Length Length is the distance between any two points. The SI unit of length is meter. Each meter is divided into 100 equal divisions called centimeter. Each centimeter has 10 equal divisions called millimeter. Thus, 1 meter equal to 100 centimeters and 1 centimeter equal to 10 millimeters. For measuring large distances, meter is not a convenient unit. We define a larger unit of length. It is called as kilometer. 1 kilometer equal to 1000 meters. Units of mass. The SI unit of mass is kilogram. Each kilogram is divided into 1000 equal divisions called gram. 
Each gram has thousand equal divisions called milligram. Thus, thousand milligrams equal to one gram. Thousand grams equal to one kilogram. Hundred kilograms equal to one quintal. And ten quintal equal to one metric ton. Units of time. The SI unit of time is seconds. Sixty seconds equal to one minute. Sixty minutes equal to one hour. Twenty-four hours equal to one day. Three hundred and sixty-five days equal to one year. Ten years equal to one decade. Ten decades or hundred years equal to one century. Ten centuries or thousand years equal to one millennium. Units of temperature. Thermometer is a device used to measure the temperature of the body. The SI unit of temperature is Kelvin. Types of motion. There are different types of motion. Rectilinear motion, curvilinear motion, circular motion, periodic motion, and combination motion. Rectilinear motion. You may have observed the motion of a vehicle on a straight road. and march past of soldiers in a parade they move along a straight line motion in a straight line is called as rectilinear motion curvilinear motion a translatory motion in which the object as a whole moves along a curved path is called as curvilinear motion example javelin throw etc circular motion in circular motion an object moves such that its distance from a fixed point remains the same example blades of a fan and hands of a clock their length remains same periodic motion some objects repeats its motion after some time This type of motion is called as periodic motion. Pendulum motion of a child on a swing are examples of periodic motion. Combination motion. At a given point of time, an object can show more than one type of motion. The movement of cycle shows two types of motions. They are circular and rectilinear motions observe a sewing machine its wheel moves with a circular motion it has a needle that moves up and down in a periodic motion here is a question for you motion of a child on a swing is called as option a circular motion option b rectilinear motion option c periodic motion write down your answers in the comment section given below and you can be the lucky winner of the episode and can be featured at the end of our next video and here are the lucky winners of our previous episodes if you like our video don't forget to subscribe like comment and share please visit our website sln academy.com thank you